to my channel. If I'm wearing the same shirt, it's because I decided to film another video for you guys. I um, have accumulated a couple of drugstore items over the last couple of weeks and I wanted to share. So it's kind of like a mini drugstore haul and one thing that I got from Amazon that's basically drugstore prices that I want to show you guys. And so if you want to see what I got, then just keep watching. So I have been wanting to try the L'Oreal Infallible um, Pro Matte Foundation and I found mine at Walmart and I'm in the color 105 and I have been using it for a couple days and I do like it. I think it might be a little bit too dark for me but the color before this which is 104 it looked a little bit too light. So I'm not sure. Um, so far I'm working with it. Like with, when I mix and match, like with concealer, I just use a lighter concealer to kind of even it all out. But so far I really do like it. If you guys want to see a review on this um, foundation, then let me know down below. But so far I really do like it. It is um, a, a demi matte foundation, so it it's not completely matte and it's not super dewy. So it's perfect for like dry to combination skin. Um, and it's, it claims 24 hours, but the longest I've worn it is maybe like 8. And I haven't had a problem with it like rubbing off and stuff, so I do really like it. Um, the majority of the products I actually bought are from um, Maybelline. But I do have two more from L'Oreal. And I, um, I got the Infallible Eyeshadows. And I got them in the color... What is this? I got one in 759, which is Burst to Boot. <laughs> I got it in the color 759, in the color Burst into Bloom, and it's a very like lavender, sparkly color. And they they're both shimmers, so they they're really pretty. And the other one that I got is 758 in Purple Priority. So I wanted to swatch both colors for you guys. So the darker purple is the purple priority and the color the lighter lavender color is burst into bloom so they're super super pigmented I really really like them um, and I cannot wait to do a look for you guys using the eyeshadow and moving on so like I said um, the majority of the items that I did get are from Maybelline Maybelline came out with a whole bunch of new items that I wanted to try out so I got the I already took it out of the package because I couldn't wait I was really impatient and I wanted to try it out and it's the Maybelline brow drama and it's in the color soft brown I wish they kind of had a darker color but they only had soft brown and blonde when I went and so the one looks like this and I like it so far. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. Um, so I do like it. And I've been using it um, almost every day now. And then they also came out with new primers. And I picked up... Um, I believe they only have three. So I picked up the three and I got them. And they look like this. And the ones that they come is... It, the, the the type that they come in is in Blur and Illuminate. Um, they have a green one that's for redness control. That's this one here. And then they have a blue one that's um, like this. And that is Blur and Smooth. So you want to make sure when you get these that... I don't know if you guys can see that. That they're, the cap it has like a little um, cover on them just because... You never know, some people might want to try out products and just make sure that the seal is on them before you buy them. So I've been testing out the redness one and I like it. I haven't opened the other two yet so I will open those soon and try them out. I wanted to show you guys um, the products with the seal still on them. And the other two products that I got that I haven't tried out yet either because I wanted to do this haul first. Um, are the new Maybelline Master Concealers and I got them in the color 20 light and 30 light medium just because 
I know that for the Fit Me concealers, I also mix and match with 15 and 20, which when I went to I went to Walmart to get this stuff and CVS and a couple places didn't have the Fit Me concealers and I was like running all over the place because I love the Fit Me concealers and I'm going to give this a, sh a shot and see how I like it and if it'll replace my Maybelline Fit Me. I did find the Fit Me concealers and I used um I get CVS coupons, um, so whenever I get those, I like to go and like um, stock up on the like the stuff that I use most often. So again, I picked up the 15 and 20, which are the ones I use most often. And then um, I wanted they have new lipsticks, and I don't know what it just says color sensational, but um, I picked up the color 730 Orchid Ecstasy, and it's not a matte it's more of like a satin color and I thought it was really really pretty and it's that right there and um, you do have to go over it a couple of times to really get the the color I'll show you with just like one swipe so the that's one swipe and this is about two to three so you can really tell the difference between like the opacity of it and then something that I ordered on Amazon um, is this little brush egg and it's really small and um, I haven't used it yet I have um, I have yet to try it and I need to clean my brushes so I think it'll be a good um, opportunity to see if this works so I know that Sigma has their like glove thing that you can use to wash your brushes but this was only like two bucks on Amazon and so I decided to give it a shot. I will link it down below in case anybody is interested. And so, um, and if you want to see, I, I guess, like if this really works, I'll let you guys know in an upcoming video. And that's basically everything that I got. Oh, and I did. If anybody's tried this, please let me know. It's from Dickinson's and it's Original Witch Hazel and it's a pore perfecting toner. So it looks like this. And it has the nastiest smell ever. Like, I cannot stand the smell. It's disgusting. But I have been using it. I just don't breathe when I put it on my face. But it, I feel like it does work. And it doesn't dry out my skin like most toners do. So, so far I like it. If you guys use this or have any reviews on it let me know down below I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it and until next time have a good day wherever you are bye guys